skiing versus snowboarding, rim brakes or disc brakes in road, flats or clips, all epic arguments for the ages. None with really a right or wrong answer, but do you know what, today we're gonna to be looking at flats or clips on rough ground, because there's mixed, mixed feelings out there, if you like, and I thought, do you know what, we could do a little video, we could look at the pros and cons and stuff like this, but I thought, hey, that's no fun. Let's just hammer some downhill tracks on flats, on clips, see what it's like, report back, and go from there. Oh. This is a black graded trail, then it's gonna be about four or so minutes long, I think. Do you know what, clips are on the bike already, so they can stay there. Goggles on, let's do this. Let's drop in and see what she goes like. Weather conditions? Yep, fair to middling. Riders ready? Watch the gate. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> Here we go, clipped in. Clips for the win. Flat pedals win medals. I don't know. Oh. Electric line is a wild line. Big sprints. Just basically about four and a half minutes getting rattled around. Big old rocks everywhere, big compressions, hot. I've got clips to begin with, what I ride most of the time. So I'm used to, oh, big rock in the middle there. So I'm used to them. Uh, top, oh, hang on. I'll talk after this bit, all oh, wide. Oh, she is loosey goosey down here. So I just find with clips, you can obviously, ah! You can obviously maneuver the bike around so much easier. That's not to say you can't, oh, I lost a bit of time there. You can't in flats. I just feel like it's easier in clips. And also on this high speed, rattling around stuff. That, yes. It just allows the bike to dance underneath me without having to worry about keeping planted feet. Okay. First runs in the books then. Clippy pedals. A few sketchy moments. But I felt good on that run. That was a good first one. In the books. Thank you. Grazie. Oh. Da, 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 da. That was a wild run. Oh my lord, I'm glad I was in clips on that one because I got buck wild here and there. It's going to be interesting to go down that now in flats, so I think we make the switch, get a full race run in. The time for that was 4.04. .04. I think that's going to be hard to beat. I thought it was going to be around the four minute mark as well, so it's why it's rough. It's rough. I don't know if the, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. I'm so used to riding clips that it comes normal, obviously what to do and when to do it. But I genuinely think on a track like that, which was so rough, that surely clips have got to have the upper hand. Having said that, there are some turns, there's some dabbing, and it is a bit greasy still, because it rained the night before, where I did actually get my foot out clipped in. So, I don't know. I don't know, 404, do you think I can beat that on flat? What do you think, Nick? Oh, right, well, there's some confidence inspiring right there. <laughs> to the start line. The clips are off, the flats are on. It's timed run time, run number two, which is gonna be quicker. 
I know what my money's on, but I'm not going to say it. I'm sure you can probably guess. But anyway, riders ready? Watch the gate. Beep, beep, beep. Uh, and we're off. Flat pedals. You gotta love them. So much fun. Oh, but this flat out fire road, I can already feel my feet dancing, should we say. And I've not seen my feet do those kind of moves for a few years now. different obviously to riding clips that's kind of standard or oh, I'm really having to drop my heels and force my feet into the pedals otherwise they'd be straight out the front door and that's not a good thing for anybody into this car big old drifty left there you go I engaged my inner Sam Hill there. I just feel like I can't, I can't fully attack because I'm just fearful of my feet. Oh, I'm gonna explode. I'd say you're a the faster you go, hang on, the faster you go, the more you're rewarded because you are. Actually, skip over the butt. Ooh. That was a wild ride on the flat. It has been a little while, I'll be honest, since I've pushed so hard on flat pedals. So it helped knowing where I was going, that's for sure. Do you know what? It's going to be hard to call the times on that. The dust has settled then and the chaos, thankfully, has subsided as it was getting pretty wild down there. And I thought before we crunch the numbers and really look at sort of the data behind the two runs, because there is a little bit to look at, we could go into sort of the feeling and how each pedal type rode. Clips then, my go-to pedal, what I ride normally and I'm really comfortable just having them on the bike. I pretty much run them on all the bikes except my dirt jump bike. So it was at home straight away. Now, if you do ride clips all the time, then that's probably a very similar feeling for you. When you get down on the trail, when you're really hammering it, there's a sense of security. Your feet aren't dancing around all over the place like Michael Flatley performing river dance. So it, it, it's that sort of extra security that takes your mind off it. It's one less thing to think about. Also, when I'm hopping and moving the bike around, I've got that reassurance, if you like, that the bike is gonna go where I put it because I'm attached to it. This could obviously be a double-edged sword because not everyone likes to be attached to their bike, especially when things do go wrong. On the whole, clips, very good for me, really good on the rough stuff. I think a lot of people will also find that just those rapid bumps all the time that their feet are planted, they're solid, definitely a winner on the flats. What about flats then? Let's sort of go into how I feel about riding the flats because I do love riding flats. First up, they're fun. Although it was a wild ride, I constantly smiled the whole way down because they're playful, basically. When it gets rough, flats can be playful. You can, you can easily sort of stamp a foot down. You don't have that worry in the back of your head that if you, I don't know, worst case scenario, suddenly clip something over the bars, you're not attached to the bike. It's not gonna come back and chase you and bop you on the head or something. Because your feet are dancing around, this is something that plays on your mind when it does get really rough, especially when it gets steep and rough, you really have to drop those heels to force them into the pedals, to force all that body weight of yours into and through the bike into the ground to stop them from just sort of jumping off forwards. It's something that you'll get used to. It just takes a little bit more practice, I think. The numbers then, let's get down to it because I know it's what you want to all hear. Now, just to clarify a few things before, I did this on my Nukeproof Giga, nothing changed other than the pedals. I knew the track really well because I'd done plenty of runs with it before and track conditions stayed the same throughout the entire time that I did my runs and practice runs and God knows what else. So the variables were really minimal. Okay, clip pedals. I did it in a four minutes and four seconds. Now bear in mind this track is pretty steep, it's pretty rough, it's got some tight turns and it's got some pedaling in. 
the time for flat was 3.55, nine seconds faster. I don't even know how I did that. And I'd like, they were both good runs. So yeah. what I can put that down to is the fact that I actually just enjoy riding flats. All right, yes, from what you could hear in the video, my feet were all over the show and it was pretty wild. But I think because of that, I was almost more relaxed, as crazy as that sounds. Once you do start getting the pace up, you start skipping over the bumps and you feel like you're on the Blumen 450 charging hard. It's amazing. Average speeds, clips was 21.2, obviously flats a little quicker, 22 kilometers an hour even. Average heart rate, so this is a good indication of the intensity that and sort of how hard I was trying on the runs. Well, both basically the same. Flats, 146 beats per minute clips 143 beats per minute. You might say flats is a little bit higher because, well, the effort required to keep your legs in place uh, was a little bit more, but you know, the difference three beats per minute is, is void basically, is not a great in it. So yeah, flats or clips when it gets rough, by my, my sort of, by my readings, flats all the way. I think I might be switching over a little bit more, but if you are a rider who does want that security, maybe think about the clips, but just get used to them first. Anyway, some interesting numbers there. Thank you very much, everyone, for watching. It was actually a really interesting video to do, and I really enjoyed making it. Let me know if you're a flats or clips shredder in the comments below. I'm out of here. I'll catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Happy riding. See you later.